Like and subscribe if you have the Celtics in six. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is JW Crewall, aka Flex Daddy, and today we got a really fun deck for you. Of course, this is Fan Favorite Friday, which means every single Friday I'm going to play a deck as chosen by you, the fan. So how do you get in on the action? Well, you go down below into the comment section, leave a comment on your favorite deck idea or deck list, and if your comment gets the most likes, I will play that deck on next week's video. So this week's video comes from Dakota Feldkamp, who says, play by Sharp from Astral Radiant. So that's what we got here. Let's take a look at the card. Vengeful Cut is the only attack we're going to use on the by Sharp here. Vengeful Cut, 30 plus. This attack does 30 more damage for each damage counter on all of your benched Pawniard. So at maximum... You say, okay, we can get three Pawniard, and then, of course, we have to evolve one Pawniard into the... Into the, I forgot the name, the buy sharp, of course. Yeah, we evolve one into the buy sharp. All right. And so you got 180 damage. But wait, there's more. You can also combo this with Zorark. So Zorark can transform into the buy sharp as well with its phantom transformation ability, meaning that you can get all four buy sharp down with 20 damage counters each on the pawn yards, thank to Gape Jaw Bog. So Gape Jaw Bog says whenever either player puts a basic Pokemon from their hand onto their bench, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So you slap a Gape Jaw Bog down, you slap all four of your Pawniards down, and then you go ahead and Zorak Phantom Transformation into a Bi Sharp. Now we also have a couple of auxiliary Pokemon here. We got Sinchino to draw some extra cards because we definitely want to have a big hand with this deck. And we also have Mighty Yina in case we happen to play against a Mew deck or some other VMAX deck. We can get a quick 160 damage onto the board. So the rest of the list is really geared around consistency. We got the four trekking shoes, as you can see, or recovering Pokemon. We got the rescue carriers and the Claras, which help us get our Pokemon back after they get knocked out turn after turn. I think you guys are going to love this Fan Favorite Friday. This is a super fun deck to make. Thank you so much to Dakota for the suggestion. And get your suggestion down below in the comments section on what you want to see me play for next week's video. Let's get into the game with our crazy Bi Sharp Zorg Sinchino Mighty Yina deck. Any Gape Jaw Bog or Specters? What is this deck? I'm intrigued. The Rare Candy. And the Cape of Toughness and the dip, two different types of energy. I um, I couldn't even hazard a guess as to what we might be seeing. But I do know it's probably going to be very fun. Sandaconda. Ah, yes. The classic. Wait, is this the one that spreads? Oh, my. Well, he plays the Cape of Toughness, so that actually makes me think that maybe it's just the basic. If it's just the basic, I think we can actually do this. If we get a full bench, then um, we can do and a choice belt. Or we don't even need the choice belt. We can do 270. They're playing the Kamado. So I think this all comes down to whether or not they play the Sandaconda VMAX. Ay ay ay. Quick ball. Badoofski. Badoofsan. And El Paso, Texas. Yes, yes indeed. Alrighty, choice belt. Um Gabe Job bog me. Gabe Job bog me. Let's go here. Let's go Pawniard. Let's go there. Boom. Well, choice belt, I guess. I mean, what else am I going to do? Oh, Pawniard. Boom. Boom. Take some more damage. Trekking shoes me. Um, what's, what's in my discard pile? You can't. Oh, you can look at your discard pile. I mean, we got Clara. So part of me wants to discard this. And then we can clear it back later. I just want to get into like, that'll do, pig. That'll do. That is a setup. We can make this happen. We can make this work. Go ahead and pass turn. 
I do not mind this. Now, we didn't get the 30 damage. That is huge, actually. It means we don't have to burn a Clara. I'm in love. Geodude 1983. If that is your birth year, you're like nine years older than I am. I'm turning 30 this year, guys. My wife brought up to me. She's like, hey, did you know that you and your daughter share the same last digit? And I'm like, what does that mean? She's like, yeah, you were born in 1992. And she was born in... 2022. Oh my gosh. Don't make me feel older than I am. 30 years, man. I've been alive 30 years for what? I'm like trying to, I'm trying to think back through my life, like the series of events that led me to play Bisharp. Like the series of events that led me to start a YouTube channel on Pokemon TCG that eventually now I find myself playing Bisharp on the ladder. You know, it just, it's, it's funky, man. Life is, life is weird for sure. Um, um, do a little something, something like this. Do a little something like this. I'm going to get me another Zerua and there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Okay. Give me that. Give me, give me that, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's sick. Now, I know I could Clara, but I kind of feel like I want to Clara after the next turn. I Like, we have the Zor Zorark in the discard pile, but I'm like, we could get the Bisharp. It just feels better to Clara next turn, I think. So let's Vengeful Cut. We'll hit him for the, uh, like, what, 120? 210? I, yeah, of course it's 210. It's like 30 plus 180, so... <laughs> I know how much damage my deck does. I, I swear. Rare candy. Okay. Dap lamp. Getting commando and rescourge. And we see a Marnie. Okay, shame. I, I really liked that Clara play that we had. I also liked having the Gape Jaw Bog. Not as important. But we're actually going to be just fine. Yeah, this is uh, this is completely okay. Um, oh, I was going to say, if they come up and attack with this, that, I mean, there, there's even routes to make it even better. Um, uh, Trek me. Let's see. No. Okay, that's fine. Go here. Go here. All good. We'll do this. Go ahead and Phantom Transformation. Put that in Chino. It's just good to have. I'm not like overly excited about the in Chino. It's just good to have. In play, we get the Rescue Carrier. That's what I want to see, man. That's going to get us the extra damage. We do need a Gape Jaw, of course. Um, but hopefully we can draw into it here off the prizes or off the top deck or off the make do. We're getting four more cards next turn. Cynthia's Ambish. Cynthia's Ambish. Okay. Anything is possible. We could, we could potentially hit for that 270 number. Now we will need another choice belt. Okay. You know what? You're, uh. You're not saying things I don't know. Or we could get all four Pawnier down. Now that would be pretty sick. That would make for a really good thumbnail. <laughs> We're open for the four Pawnier play. We do need again the stadium, but you know, we can we can make it happen. We can make it happen. There's a sand breath 220. We'll bring up the Sinchino. Because worst comes to worst, we can attack with the Pawnier. We're hoping we don't have to do that. But that's, you know, wor worst comes to worst. Again, we can we can make it happen. There's a Zorark. Okay, step one in the plot. Is to go Zorark. And then we need to transform first into the Bisharp. And then by sharp, we're going to uh, go ahead and attach an energy. 
And then it's going to be a Cynthia's Ambition for five because we want to keep the Rescue Carrier. So basically all we're looking for now is the Gape Job Bog. We don't get it. Let's go level them all. We have three left. Okay. 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 Um. Hmm. Play the carrier. Let's get back Pawniard and Zerua. And we'll just, we'll discard one of the Zerua, but I was like, oh, I don't really want to dis, I mean, I want to play the quick ball maybe. And then, yeah. And then we'll discard one of these Zerua, maybe. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm not thinking about this correctly. Um... Yeah, we're just looking for the Gape Jaws. We could discard a Bi Sharp. We could discard an Energy. I guess, actually, the Energy makes the most sense, right? Because we could just get it right back. We're just looking for a Gape Jaw. No Gape Jaw. Sad. So we can do 240. So I might as well save the Choice Belt. Um, put this down. 240, save the choice belt, retreat, right? Because we're doing 180 plus 30, yeah, 240. Okay, I'll take this back because why not? And then we'll hit him with a vengeful cut. Now, what we could also do here, um, we could just attack with the buy sharp, evolve the poniard. Not something that you, you know, not, not something that I'm desiring to do, right? But, uh, it is possibility for us. Um, we might have to make that play. Might ha considering we only have one Zorark left in the deck. Might have to make that play. So we'll see. I think they might try to switch or retreat or something here. They swing with the active. Oh, it's just really tough because we'd have to give up our a choice belt, which is fine. It's fine. Have to give up our boss. Hmm. Okay, so there's knockout. So then we come up with the buy sharp. We're still looking for a gape jaw. We could take the knockout with Sinchino, actually. That could be super cute. And then if they Marnie us and then Sinchino us, we could, could we get out of that? Can always try. Does the choice belt matter? Is it better to just take a knockout with a Pawniard? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What would you do? Pause the video and leave a comment down below on what you would do in this situation. Um, we could do this. And then hope that they don't have Gust, I guess. And then we're just two-shotting everything else from there on out. Um, if they do have Gust, is that okay? We can do 210. We can Gust up a Ninetale. Okay, we'll go here. This is, I think, the safest play in my brain. This is the, and of course we draw the Zorark, which is hilarious. Um... Give me a make do. The Gape Jaw Bog Respector is logged on. Bog me. By sharp me. Energy me. We we wanted an energy. We wanted an energy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We, we wanted to use the training court first. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to be just fine. Nobody freak. Nobody freak out. Got two energy left. It's going to be all good. You guys are just freaking out for no real reason. Um, let's see. We can go Cynthia's Ambition. That's fine. Draw ourselves four cards. And we don't want to... We want to keep the boss and we want to keep the choice belt in hand, I think. Those are our cards. Those are our dudes. Those are our dudes for sure. Um, 
We got a choice belt left. So maybe we could actually attach it. I'm trying to think like how we can take our last prizes. It's going to be okay. We'll just vengeful cut. Vengeful cut me. 210. We have the win with a uh, we have the win with a metal energy. We have the win with a metal energy. We have the win guaranteed on the on the nine tails, bro. Now there are things they can do. They could like Marnie us and then attach a cape of toughness to the active, and then we're screwed. Potentially. We're not even... Okay. They still need a... They still need a Cape of Toughness. Oh, we get the energy. Let's go. <laughs> okay. They still need to take, you know, a bunch of... A bunch more prizes. It's fine. It's fine. We can take the knockout. That would be so epic, bro. That would be so epic. Just don't get rid of the game job, please. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Um, do we have the win here? So 180. We actually have the dub. I am trying to go for the Pawniard. Oh no, we're doing 240. Okay, okay, never mind. Disregard, disregard. We don't quite have the dub. We're doing huge damage though. We need to be able to get the Pawniard back from the discard pile. Um, shoes me. Okay. Maybe the choice belt doesn't matter? Is the Gabe Jaw Bog more important? We have another choice belt. Uh, so we're doing 180, plus 30, 210, plus choice belt. We need to keep these energy because that's our last two energy. I actually think since we have another choice belt left, that that is the least important card in our hand. We get the freaking glare, dude. We are legendary. Legend, wait for it, Dairy. <laughs> Clara me. Um, we'll do both just because it's funny. Um, sure, sure. Give me that. Give me that. Pawnee yard me. Give me the attach. I'm taking the screenshot now for the thumbnail. <laughs> ah, and then we'll vengeful cut. Boom! Knockout 270. Ideal board state. You're done, bud. Get out of here. Happy fan favorite Friday. Let's get it. Game number two right now. What a rush. Err? Err? The Gengar Vs? Okay. Uh, we're going to need a good trekking shoes here. Okay, well, um, I can't be mad. Let's do a little... We could Clara. We could Boss. There's no good answers. Okay, there's, there's just no good answers. We could Clara here. I think Clara is the safest play. It's not the exciting play. You're like, play a supporter to get one card back? Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's that's what we've done. What are you gonna do about it? Freaking sue me, man. But considering our hand, I think we'll take it. We're kind of just I'll be honest, we're waiting for the Cynthia's ambition to pop before we can do it much of anything. They're gonna discard one of their own stadiums, little do they know. What the heck is this? There's a single strike Evaltal. I'm pogging. I'm pogging. Maybe their hand is dead. Please. Please. They're debating whether or not to play Marnie. It's their only supporter. I, I knew it. <laughs> okay. Ultra ball. Okay. Raihan. All right. Just at no Crobat, please. No Crobat. Oh, the Houndoom. Okay. Okay. No, no supporter, please. 
you absolutely hate to see it. You know, it's actually fact that no deck in the current standard format has more than four professors research in them. And yet, it always seems that my opponents get a research in their opening hand 100% of the time. Isn't that funny? Does anyone else find that funny or is it just me that finds that funny? Hmm. Sounds like a uh, sounds like a Twitter meme in waiting for sure. By the way, if you're not following me over on Twitter, make sure to do that now. Link is down in the description at real John Walter. It's uh, it's the best time. It's the worst time. Okay, what can we do? We really want, I think an Ultra Ball off the top actually is like the cracked top deck. So they're, they didn't hit an energy. <gasps> okay, okay. Act, act natural. I still think like this, this is so awkward. We should gust this up. 270 is very achievable. 270 is very achievable here. We're going to hit it for, we're going to hit it for 30. They didn't take a knockout. So we need the Cynthia's Bish to, to go off for us here. So let's see. Hit it for 30. They have to accelerate using the Hound. I mean, they don't have to, but uh, we're not hitting for much. And they've discarded their third tower. The lock, what have you done? What have you done? Ultra ball. They have no idea. Maybe they have more than four more than four stadiums. I highly doubt that. So Ultra Ball. Flannery. Oh, dark patch. Dude, the freaking punches just keep coming. <laughs> All right. So 20 more damage here on the active. That's cool. Single strike roar. Go on the active. That's cool. I love, I love. We have a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, you're telling me we only have to do 230 damage. We need an ultra ball off the top, please. It's, it's quite close. It is quite close. Okay. Gabe draw bog me. Quick ball me. Buy sharp me. Pawn yard me. Bench me. Cynthia's bish for seven. Okay. Not quite. Not quite. Um, no. No. What are these draws? Uh, it's it's not fair. I'm sorry. I'm I'm crying. I'm crying foul play here. Let's go transformation. Oh, thank you, my wife, with the Chick Fil A order. Thank you so much. Transformation. Hit him for an amount of damage equivalent to the amount of uh, damage counters on my Pawniards. Times 30. Plus 30. Vengeful <laughs> cuts. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Sussy. Sussy. But it is also kind of sussy that they have to find a, like a retreat out for this Gengar. That also is kind of sussy. I don't feel bad. I don't feel like we're in a bad position. Like, it's not great. I would rather be in a different position. But I don't feel like we're in a bad position. There's the retreat. They're going to come into the Eveltal. Do they have a... Um, whatever you call that thing? The 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 Duder? The Urn of Vitality? There we go. Single Strike Energy. Back into the deck. They're going to Roar. They're gonna roar. 
They're gonna roar. What do we give up on the next turn? Man, Professor's Research, wish it were me. Wish it were freaking me, dude. Choice belt me? Okay, we gotta get through this evolved dude. Oh my gosh. What's our best chance of doing so? Is it the Zorua? I guess. We got to draw into a Zoroark here. It's not a Zoroark, but it's it's relatively close. We're down so many energy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to do it. The problem with the Zoroark is that you can't commit energy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's 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 rich. It's freaking rich, man. It's freaking rich, dude. All right. Um What what do we got for energy? We got one left and a Clara. Um easy easy win. Easy win incoming. Let's go here. Going to go Zoroark. We're going to go here. We're going to just, we're going to see what they do. Let's phantom transform into the Sinchi. And then we're looking for just more Ponyards, looking for more um, Zeruas, that kind of thing. We do need to get a knockout on the next turn. Ooh, we drew into a Bi Sharp here. Ouch, that's not good. We also drew into an Evo Incense. That's cool, though. Um, basically, we're, com we're, basically, we're passing. Basically, we're passing. We need the energy on the next turn. We have like a 50% shot to get it. There's a boss on the Ponyard? On the Zor On the Ponyard? We can win? We can win? Give me the Clara now. You won't. Okay. Based. Based. Um, level ball me. Ponyard me. Evo incense me. Zoroark me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we just go here and we go here. And then I think we need to draw into the... We could just go there too. Um, we need to draw into the energy here. Mm, we need to draw into the energy here. Like I said. We need to draw into the energy off of the make do. And then the Clara on the following turn. Oh, trekking shoes. That can get it. That can get it. That can get it. No. No. We have energy in the last three cards of the deck. No. That's so sad. We can keep pace. The, like, the horrible thing is that we can keep pace with them. We're just going to be one turn too short. We needed the energy there so we could knock out this Eveltal. And then we have everything. I mean, we have the opportunity. They're going to take the knockout. We're going to top deck it here. I know it. Oh my gosh. That is crushing. Okay, we didn't top deck it. That makes me feel a little bit better. Let's go, Clara. We'll do both. Give me one, two. Oh, wait, we have the rescue carrier. So let's do this. Because we can get... Let's do... This? Um, we want to prioritize the Zoroarks. So we should, get, we should get these back, right? Okay. And then we'll do this. And then we'll put this on here. 
Give me one of these, Phantom Transformation. Give me a Bi Sharp. Okay, we'll go Rescue Carrier. Give me Zerua and Ponyard. Sure. Ponyard me. Zerua me. Attach me. Vengeful Cut me. I mean, if they don't have the urn, like we're chilling. We just need to make up, we need to make up one turn somehow. We need to make up one turn. There's a dark patch. Okay, that's cool. No. There's still a chance, but no. We're going to go down to two prizes. Oh, we were that one. It was that one turn. We drew, we had 15 cards in deck. And we drew seven with the research. And we drew two more off of the Cinchino. And then we drew two more off of the Trekking Shoes. And we couldn't get it. We actually had 14 cards in deck. Oh. That one hurts so bad. Hurt so bad. Come on, baby, make it hurt so bad. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's still hope. There's still hope. All hope is not lost. All hope is not lost. Um, let's do this. Let's do Phantom Transformation into this boy. Um, let's see, 160 just doesn't do it for us, right? Yeah, we gotta go by sharp here. By sharp me. Ponyard me. Attach me. We cannot play the Cynthia's Ambition. So... I think we got to hold the hand and then we'll vengeful cut. And we got win on board. We got win on board. Ksh, calling in uh, Houston. We have win on board. Quick ball me. Bog me. Evo incense me. Okay. Do they have two energy to attack? They do. The urn comes down. That was a really exciting second game, though. I am not going to put any hate on Bisharp because we played against a arguably upgraded regional winning deck and went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We were one turn away. I respect you, Pontiard Zorark. That was a really fun match. We obviously got the dub in game one. So overall, really successful video. If you liked it, please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And go down below to participate in Fan Favorite Friday. Leave your favorite deck idea or deck list in the comment section below. And if your comment gets the most likes, I'll play it on next week's video. Thank you for the participation this week. Let's make it another good week for Fan Favorite Friday next week. That's going to be all for me today, guys. God bless. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you later, and remember, good luck, and also have fun.